All right, uh, my name is Chet Chohan. I'm a VP of Product Management uh, at Salesforce. I've been at Salesforce coming up to, uh, in July, it'll be 12 years, uh, a long time. Um, and uh, I, I joined in 2006 uh, in, in San Francisco uh, from Siebel, which is a competitor of ours. Uh, and yeah, I got bought by Oracle. And then uh, I built our service cloud product uh, in San Francisco. And then I started building our community cloud product. Uh, and then Trump got elected and I, 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 I took a one-way ticket to Amsterdam. Um, <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> I left before, actually. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm from the UK. I had to move back for uh, personal reasons. I got tired of the, America. but um, So I live here, actually, just down the road, 10 minutes away. Uh, I, I, I would have biked down if it wasn't raining, but uh, yeah. Um, so um, I, I basically manage uh, product management uh, for EMEA for our core clouds. So that's sales, service, uh, communities, and Einstein, all right? Einstein AI uh, and all of that stuff. Um, so what I want to do today, I mean, I could go, you know, I could talk about the spring roadmap, but I'm going to show you where you can see all of that, right? Oh, it's online. Uh, I wanted to maybe talk about some of the things that I think are really cool and could be game changing, right? Some things that are coming out um, in, uh, in spring and, and obviously related to lightning. And then it's really your session, uh, you know, you just any questions. I mean, I should, well, Salesforce has got big now, so I can't answer all the questions, but it used to be that I could answer every, every product question. Um, all right, let's start off with um, something fun. Let's see here. So one of the features I'm really excited about is a feature called Lightning Flows, right? And uh, I want to show you this video. Uh, so in spring, we've made a lot of, lot of enhancements. And we always start with that, right? Just ah, eyes are gone. Oh, it's not too loud, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's the only caveat with that. Your head may explode. Um, all right, that's <laughs> pretty cool, right? Um, all right, so I actually want to get a, a show of hands. So how many people here are using Sales Cloud? 
I think everybody, right? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And then how many people service cloud? Cool, that's awesome. Actually, it's really good. That's my baby, so that's really cool. And then community cloud, that's another one of my babies. Okay, cool, that's already half a crowd. All right, great. Um, Yes, yeah, so what I just showed you, uh, Lightning Flows, is kind of, it's basically built on our workflow engine, right? It's taking it to the next level, and it's not something additional need to purchase, right? You can use it in, 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 uh, in a sales cloud scenario, in a service cloud scenario, in any kind of, you know, community scenario where there's partner community, customer community, or e-commerce, whatever you want, right? Um, and it's going to be a real, I think, game changer because you can automate, or you can at least create, like, uh, processes, you know, for a lot of things that you do now internally, right? And it's all kind of drag and drop, right? You just create these screens, and these screens are dynamic. You can integrate the back office systems, um, and you can orchestrate a lot of things. The way I think, to be honest with you, why this, I think, is a game changer, it's, it's interesting right now, but it's going to be a lot more interesting well processes I think if you fast forward 10 years from now I think what will happen is the world will move to a place where you will all the processes you have within, within an organization will be defined in something like this right and then you'll have AI which will determine the next step in a process right it'll make a lot of the decisions uh, and then you may at some stage decide you need human input you know you might say oh, I need input from that person or that person needs to prove it right uh, and then the customer will interrogate uh, like they might ask a question like you know where's my insurance claim and they can do that using a bot right on whatsapp or or uh, Facebook messenger um, so essentially those th that's kind of where CRM is going right it's going to be less focused on the screen it's going to be focused on process intelligence, and then uh, customers actually interacting, um, with, and even salespeople interacting, you know, they can even ask something like Alexa, if it's still around then, you know, like, what am I doing, you know, where's my, uh, or how am I going to close this deal, or is this customer purchased, or can you set up an appointment, you know, for uh, tomorrow with a customer, things like that will all be automated, right? So that's kind of why this is really important um, process, and, and it's, a, it's a big initiative. Um, so I can talk a little bit about, so I can talk about a lot of things, obviously. So I want to just get a show of hands. So um, I, can, I can go into Lightning Flow. How many people are interested in what I just showed? I can talk a little bit more about that. Okay. How many people are interested in service? So we, we, uh, we showed, Simon showed you uh, Sales Cloud Lightning. I can show you Service Cloud Lightning as well, uh, if you want to see that. Any, any people, in, anybody interested in that? A few people, okay. How about uh, um, Einstein for service, like chatbots? Yeah, chatbots. Predict have people have, have people seen Prediction Builder? Oh my God, I got to show you that. It's a game changer. Let me show you that. That's that's a Prediction Builder. I should start with Prediction Builder. All right, let me do this. I'll quickly go through Lightning Flows, then I'll go into. I'll, maybe I'll show you Prediction Builder, and then I'll go into. I'll show you what we got doing with chatbots. Adidas is using that, for example. Um, and then yeah, then we'll just you know any other questions. I've also got a bunch of Lightning resources. I'll point you to as well additional resources, uh, which are really useful. The roadmap, things like that. All right, let's do. Let's just start with. Um, I've also got GDPR, by the way, if you want to know about GDPR. <laughs> but that's not super sexy. That's not super sexy, right? Can I ask you all the things you show us tonight part of the standard Salesforce license if you book the service or the sales crowd? Uh, yes, yes. So I'm going to, I'll tell you when it, it's something additional. So right now, yeah, at least Lightning Flow is not, is not a uh, next best action, maybe an add-on. We're, we're still not sure about that, so, which I'll show you. Next best action using Einstein might be an additional add-on, but let's see. Uh, we're, not, we're, not, we're still trying to figure that out, you know. Um, I have a question. Uh, sure. Uh, the flow which you said is going to come, is it very, uh, will it work in mobile also? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I'll, I'll, let me show you. The, so the question was, will Lightning Flow work in mobile? So, um, it, it, uh, it works basically in our community, right? And our, our community is mobile responsive, so you can have a mobile responsive website. But then now you can also uh, package the community into what we call um, the customer portal app. So we can, you can actually have a, an app now, right? Which will actually go, which actually kind of point to a community. Uh, but you can actually create that, which is a new thing that's actually, I think it's coming out, it's pilot right now, but coming out in summer. So you can do that as well, but definitely works in mobile. A mobile, yeah, mobile community, but it's, it's really working in community. So the container is community, so if you've got a mobile community, then it'll work in that, right? Um, so let's see, let me go. So let's talk about Lightning Flow. So Lightning Flow is, um, you know, something we, you know, at Salesforce, I've been here a long time, we, um, 
we, we announce, a, 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 we repackage and rename a lot of existing things, right? We do do that. Like Service Cloud has been renamed, I think, three times, and every time it's supposed to be new. Uh, we add a few more features, features and relaunch it. Uh, but um, Lightning Flow is a little bit like that, as in we have taken, we're taking like our existing flow capability, but we're making it, first of all, work in Lightning, um, making, you know, I just showed you here, you can make dynamic screens in Lightning right now, um, but also we've made it a lot more powerful, right, and we're also building a new designer for that. Um, so essentially the first thing is it's, got, it's a flow and process builder, right? And today it uses our existing process engines or process builders, you could say. Process builder and then, um, what's the other one? Visual workflow. Um, you use those two. Um, and it's, uh, let, me, let me go into more details, right? So basically it's, you know, you build your, you build your process, right? Uh, you build the screens using Lightning components. Um, and then you can expose it either, you know, on the screen here to sales users or service users or platform users, you know, app users, or you can expose it in the community as well, right? Any community. Why that is looking like a journey builder? Sorry? Oh. That was looking like a journey Oh, yeah, that thing. That actually is a mock, is actually a screenshot from the new design, new designer we're building. So right now we're doing design research uh, on how this new process builder is going to look. Uh, and it's, it, it, that's a screenshot from it. So it looks a little bit like, yeah, you could say it looks a little bit like Journey Builder. But we're trying to really sort of, you know, a little bit like we did with Lightning Experience. We're, we're basically starting from scratch and taking a beginner's mind, right? And say, how would you, if you're starting from a blank slate, how would you build a process, right? And a complex process with dynamic screens, with processes, with integrating back office systems, waiting for back office systems to respond. You know, how do you build something like that? And how do you build like a thousand processes and manage them, right? That's kind of what, um, where this design comes from. And today you, you use process builder and you use visual workflow, but these are going to go away, right? I'm not go away, but they're going to be replaced by the new designer, which is coming out in winter, all right? But if you build something here, it'll work. It's kind of like report builder. It'll, it'll work in the new designer. Um, and so an existing process you have, you can, you can just use it. You can just, um, in, you know, edit it in the new designer, but you won't be able to go back, right? And these will be deprecated longer term. Um, but anyway, today, you, this is what you use today to create the... Um, and you know, create uh, uh, flows, and uh, you know, we've got already a lot of um, customers using our workflow and and process uh, capabilities. About a hundred thousand orgs, we run about a hundred billion processes a month, right? So it's not something that's you know, it's completely new. So the underlying process engine is is uh, we're building on top of that, but now we've added a lot more things. So these are all the things that have coming. They have come in, in spring release. So you can these are the lightning components you can use, like the progress indicator. You know, you can have dynamic questions, right? So based on, you know, yes, no, this will appear or disappear. You can upload files in this flow. You can have tables. You know, you, you kind of, you know, you basically walk through um, a process. Uh, you can organize flow in stages like path, right? Uh, so you want what style of, so this is like an example of a banking one where customers order, ordering their check, you know, their checks, right? Uh, check, you know, I don't, not much <laughs> doesn't happen here, but in US people still order checkbooks. I've got a whole bunch of checkbooks still. Um, and people still accept them, yeah. Um, but you can choose, you know, what type you want. Um, and that, that you can easily set that up. You can pause flows, right? You can resume, pause them. Uh, got, we've got sharing on them as well. You can also launch them in, in different ways, right? This is all what I'm showing you here is spring, right? It's, it's coming out in February. So you can, and actually this already exists. So from a quick action, you can start a flow. You can start a flow in the community. There's a community component for that. Um, you can also start it from the utility bar, right? So you can create a new customer flow and then you can just start it there and then walk through it, all the different steps. Um, uh, let's go through this one a little bit. So you can integrate as well to other systems. Uh, and there's something, we, something new we launched a couple of releases ago called Platform Events, right? And Platform Events is, is basically a messaging bus, right? Uh, which allows you to publish events. So for example, you, let's say, um, a customer creates a new order, right, in a flow, and you can publish an event like new order creation, and that can go to all the other systems and let them know that an order's been created. Uh, and let's say if something was shipped around that order, right, and then it, it changed the order status to shipped from that shipping system, 
then you could listen to that and then make and then the process would then move to the next stage after it, re it receives that um, the status change right so you can also call you can call a platform events and subscribe to platform events as well from from um, from lightning flows you can integrate yeah this is kind of you know integrate to other systems um, this is also interesting direct data query so this is something in pilot uh, which allows you to to easily um, integrate as well you can just read it up in the release notes uh, but we're just trying to make it easier as well this is less relevant um, like so lightning bolt so this is interesting what we're also doing with with um, with lightning flow as well is we are encouraging a lot of ISVs to build processes um, on app exchange right so for example in insurance you've got first notice of loss or something like that process, you'd be able to go into the app exchange and just download that, right? Download that and start using it. Um, and that's, uh, so packaging that is, packaging uh, process uh, flows is, is something we're doing as well. And I'll show you some, some, some of them we're already working on. And the other thing we're doing as well with this is we're launching something called, um, in spring as well, a pilot for next best action, right? How many people, any, anybody using next best action right now? In any, anywhere? Right. Okay. Cool. So next best action is kind of like what do you do? What's the next thing you do? Right. Like if you're talking to a customer, especially in customer service, you talk to, and this this is used a lot in B2C call centers. You know, you you resolve their issue, and then what's the next best action? Right. And that could be an upsell. Sell, right? Uh, it could be a product recommendation, but it also could be uh, next issue avoidance, right? So this person called, you know, about this issue, and there's an 80% chance they're going to hit this other issue. So let them know about it right now. So tell them, hey, you know, uh, you had this issue, and um, you know, maybe you should also buy this or do that, right? Uh, and you can also use this in a sales uh, a sales scenario as well. So this is also coming out, and this is going to leverage, um, uh, yeah, and you create them like this. Um, and we've also got a bunch of, uh, you know, I mentioned a, a lot of partners creating uh, processes, lightning flows. Um, for uh, Already we've got like these kind of things here. For example, with the Gap, we're working on a store returns process, right? You can return things that you bought, you want to return them back to, to, um, to, the, to Gap, for example. You can go online and do that or call up uh, the whole process. Uh, we're building a lightning flow with PwC. Uh, but this, I mean, there'll be, our goal is to have hundreds of these. Right for all the different industries and verticals. Right, any industry you're in, hopefully there'll be there'll be a process you can just download and start using. Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, so I'm, I'll just skip this one. So a lot of things coming out in spring, as you can see here, um, and you can read a lot of this in the release notes. I don't need to tell you. Uh, but where's where's it going? Right, um, this this is where um, there's a lot of a lot of uh, innovation going here. So spring. Um, you know, we've got the next best, best action pilot. Uh, you can pause flows right now. Right now, we've also got flow for service console, right? For for, uh, for service cloud. Uh, in summer, we're going to make that generally available. You'll be able to queue up flows, like multiple flows. We're also adding Einstein predictions uh, into next best action. Uh, and then in winter, coming out in October, we're also going to release the the new um, Lightning Flow Builder. Right. So a lot of stuff coming on this. This is actually one of the biggest areas of investment in products right now. Um, but anyway, yeah. If you're looking at building processes or looking for any, you know, whether it's sales service, you should check this out. Sorry? Lightning debugger for flow and process builder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what, one of the things is, um, is as you start building really complex processes, especially when you're integrating the back office systems, um, you're, you're going to need more diagnostic capabilities or, you know, and also a real-time dashboard into what's happening, all right? Uh, and that's kind of what we're building here. So monitor monitoring and telemetry. And a real goal is, I mean, like I said, I mean, a real goal is that companies would have thousands of these processes really orchestrating a lot of their common processes. Like you're buying, ordering a product, returning a product, or um, you know, closing a sale, and you know, um, provisioning a product, right? All these things could be done using a lightning flow, all right? All right. Debugger, is there also something like a tester or something like UI testing? Or, uh, maybe you can uh, handle test data and it's run every uh, every time you deploy something and it's all processes are running the right way yeah so this is uh, this is kind of what this will do a little bit right okay. yeah um, this is um, where you'll have a lot more because as processes get complex 
uh, you've got more, a lot more logic in them, especially you're doing a lot of call-outs, for example, to back office systems. Yeah, exactly. So that's when you st it's, we, yeah, we're, we're building that tool really to, to allow you to do that, right? Uh, today you don't need it so much because it's not so, we can't do really complex things, but as you can do more, start doing more, uh, you need to, um, all right. Um, so you can use Flow. You can use Flow in in, in Classic, but things like uh, you know the Lightning components, all those. Though that's all obviously Lightning. So another reason to move to Lightning. It's yeah, should definitely. <laughs> it's um, yeah, it's um, all right. Let's go to let's see what else. Um, let me show you. Let's talk, start talking about. Um, Maybe talk about um, Einstein Prediction Builder. Let's talk, let's talk a little bit about AI. Yeah. I was wondering, what if you have already have some existing VPN uh, or workflow? To Just throw them out. Let's them throw them out. <laughs> Save some money. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, a lot of companies do have them, right? Uh, and uh, you can integrate to them for sure. You know, um, the challenge is, I'll talk, okay, I won't mention names. There's a big bank, uh, sorry, big mortgage company here in the Netherlands, one of the biggest mortgage providers. And for your mortgage origination, when you create a new mortgage, that mortgage origination process goes through five BPM engines. <laughs> five. And they're like, it takes 30 days, right? And these fintechs are coming out, they can do it, you know, in hours, right? So they're like, we need to get rid of all that shit, and and so they're looking at this, right? And that's kind of what it is a little bit. Is um, you know that's what's yeah. There are a lot of tools out there. There are a lot of tools out there. Um, you know, Peg is a great one, but the problem there is it's it's actually really hard to use and quite complex, you know. And a lot of it's on-premise software. So, so if you want to have a partial migration to your to your Salesforce, do you also have some partial migration steps or? You know, to be honest, we will be doing, we'll be releasing more, right? As we move, uh, you know, this is obviously still early, right? Uh, as we move um, companies over, we typically will do that, right? Provide best practices or our partners will do that, right? You guys will do probably write a blog about it, right? Somebody <laughs> move from Pega to Lightning Flow or something like that. Um, I'm sure there will be, yeah. All right, let's talk about Prediction Builder, right? So Prediction Builder, it, it actually came out in the winter release um, and, um, this is pretty cool, right? Because, okay, actually, how many people, how, how many of you are doing anything related to, to AI? Like building AI in-house? Hey, you've got a few people, all right. Uh, have you got data scientists? Data, okay. Yeah, all right, you've got data scientists, right? You've got some data scientists, okay. And, and uh, you know, they're pretty, you need that, they're pretty hard to find, right? Data scientists, right? Um, so what the kind of the evolution of machine learning and deep learning is today there's a lot of work you need to do, right? You need to format the data, then you start looking at which model do you use, you know, convolutional neural network or an RCN or this or that. Um, which one do you use, a linear model, right? Um, and then um, you need to then, then, once you've built all that and got it working, you then need to, um, uh, you know, bring it into the end user, so give, give, give it deliver value, right? Uh, and so what where AI is changing now, and the other problem is actually there are not enough data scientists in the world, right? Today, if, you're, if you get, graduate with a PhD in machine learning, you'll get hired by Google for $200,000, like as a 22-year-old or 23-year-old, right? Because they just know, they just aren't any of those around, right? It's actually a great... Yeah, I wish I could. Um, I, I might go and do a PhD in, in, in data science or AI. I did my undergrad in AI, but that was 20 years ago. Um, so, but actually, what's happening is something called AutoML. People have heard of AutoML? Right? So, AutoML is, is the idea is you don't need a data scientist, right? Uh, you will actually have AI, machine, you'll have an AI that actually replaces the data scientist, right? It's, it's basically the AI basically configures your AI, right? In fact, you have, right now you have, uh, you actually have AI that actually writes code as well. They've, there's a company that's doing that right now. They'll actually go in that, right? So it's, it's getting pretty incredible. Um, so AutoML is the whole idea of that is you can create really simple, really simply uh, create AI, right? And that's what Prediction Builder is. So this is, this is AutoML, the Salesforce version. Um, and uh, Google has talked about it. They haven't released something yet. Or they, I think they have just uh, released, released something in Pilot to a few people. Uh, but this is our version of AutoML, right? Is how anybody, any business user, in fact, um, you know what? I'm going to invite somebody in the audience to build an AI model. Who wants to be a volunteer to build an AI model? 
All right, there we go. Cool. Come up. <laughs> All right, so w which company do you work with? Vanderbron. Sorry, what? Vanderbron. Oh, okay, right here. Okay. Yeah. And you have customers, right? Yeah. And do you worry about them leaving? Yeah. Churn, right? So you're worried about them. Like, would it be great if you had an AI that would tell you, would predict if your customer is going to leave or not? What, how likelihood is your customer going to leave? Right? Would that be pretty cool, right? Yeah. So should we, you, should we build that? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Let's build it. All right, cool. Okay. We're going to build it right now. All right, so you see this thing called Einstein Prediction Builder right there? Get started. Click on that button. And so this is what you do. You just go into Salesforce. You click Einstein Prediction Builder. Cool. Now uh, you basically go in and create new predictions. So you want to start a new one. And what we're going to do is just call it uh, attrition risk, right? Because that's what it is, right? Cool. Now, actually, so it's, it's customer, right? We are going to be, we're basically going to be looking at attrition of customer. So we want to click on the customer label, which is basically the contact record. So let's click on that. So this is the object we're going to use. It's the contact record, right? So all the data on the contact record. And then you'll see it'll bring up um, all the fields. And then, so here's the thing. This is where it gets interesting, right? So, yeah, sure. Size of the screen, so the back Console, yeah. Control plus, yeah. Does that work? Or, you know, you can. Um... Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Is that better? Or maybe one more, yeah? Okay, so now, this is, maybe stop for a second here. So these are all the fields uh, on the, um, uh, you know, on, the, on, on customer. And uh, see, the way AI learns, is it's basically you know deep learning right and deep learning is like a baby right what you do is you tell it you tell it uh, here's all the data and then and uh, this is the false positive or false and negatives right and then it learns from that right so this equal like you know this is blue this is red this is blue this is red and eventually it will know this is blue or red it'll predict it right now the field we want to predict is the one you created which is called uh, attrition risk hopefully it's the uh, the one there okay great that's one and then you click next uh, we will be back here tomorrow morning uh, to, to see the results. <laughs> now the problem is here. Yeah. So, okay, so that's it. Now it's running away. Uh, and what it's doing is this. It, this is where it gets interesting. So first of all, it's taking all the contact information, right? How many records you have. And you want to have, you really want to start with minimum 5,000 records. You know, 10,000, 20,000. If you're 100,000, you're, you're getting, you'll, you'll get more accuracy. Um, so it takes all the data in, right? Then it does, um, uh, it basically uses right now nine different uh, AI models. So it runs what we call a model tournament, right? Uh, which is kind of what the, the data scientist has to do. They take, data scientists spend a lot of time bringing the data in, balancing the data, removing the outliers, and then they try all these different models. There's a linear model or, you know, they just roll a lot of different ones, right? And what it's doing here is it's actually running a model tournament with nine different models, right? Uh, it's doing that work for you. At the end of it, when it's done that, it will actually then pick which out of those nine is got the, the, uh, the most accuracy, all right? Uh, and, then, um, and then tomorrow you'll get an email. Let me show you what the result would look like at least. Thanks, so thank you very much, thank you. So yeah, she looked. So that's how easy it is, right? You see, we need, you, need a, you probably need like a one hour training course right now. It's, um, yeah, so you don't need a data scientist to do this, right? Um, and so this is, yeah, that's, that's that. And this is what I was saying here, right? So we do the data cleansing, data balancing, feature engineering, feature selection. We're on the model tournament. We calibrate the scores. And then what happens is tomorrow morning, this is what will happen. I will get a, when I go to that page, it will tell me, this is a different, different prediction. It's trans on time payment for transactions. But it shows, it tells you, if this is the first most really important thing, right? If this tells you 20%, you're like, forget it. I'll maybe try something else, right? But the fact it's saying 82%, that can be valuable to your business, right? If it can tell you uh, with that accuracy. It also tells you what are the fields that are driving their prediction, right? We inputted 27 fields, right, in the, in the, in, in the, in the, um, uh, into Prediction Builder. Uh, but these are the really the five fields that are driving uh, that prediction. Right? So this is pretty cool. Um, but then what's, what's really cool about it is we also then build a Lightning component. Right? So once this is run, you go into Lightning App Builder and you'll get this, thing, this Lightning component already built for you. It's built, it'll have the, it'll have the, 
the number there, it'll have the name you called it, and then it'll, it'll have the, the fields, and it'll tell you why. Because the thing is, when you have an end user, you know, and your sales users or service users, they don't, when they look at a number, they'll be like, why should I trust this number, right? I mean, it's telling me this customer is going to trade. How do I know? And the idea of this is, is to tell you, you know, what, uh, why, and we're going to make this better over time, but this is basically relating to the field. The same, this field, previous transaction from account were not late. Um, so likely to pay, yeah, or whatever. And then industry, you know, insurance industry typically maybe they don't pay that, uh, pay on time. Um, and then what you can do is, so this component comes out of the box and then you can, you know, send an email, you can take, take action on that, right? So this customer's not going to pay, well maybe I'm going to, you know, send an email to him to remind him or call him right now or, 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 do something even better, I can run workflow on that, right? So I can say if likely to pay is less than, you know, less than 50%, well, you know, go crazy, call the CEO, do whatever you want, right? Um, and this is, this is right now in pilot. All right, so we launched it in winter, uh, and uh, we're looking at making it generally available in um, summer release. All right, so if you're interested in the pilot, um, just let me know, or let your account manager know, either. either. Uh, we're looking for more, uh, more um, customers. And non-profit can be customer? Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Um, and the reason why it's taking time, to be honest, is we're, you know, before we release, we want to make sure it's it's uh, you know it's accurate, it's working well, it's delivering on the value. So um, that's yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, what else? Let me talk about. You want to you want to talk here about bots? Yes. All right. Good. Can also inspect the model itself, the, the trained model. You can't right now. You can't right now. So you know, to, on 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 um, with. Um, uh, with a lot of Einstein features right now, we've built them like this, so they're kind of a little bit like a black box, right? But that's uh, and they work. AI, so you want to have an explainable model. Exactly. Yeah. And then the next phase right now, like with, for example, lead scoring, or what we're doing with, um, what we're doing with, uh, we've got a new feature also come out in spring for predicting forecast, right? So we use that internally. Like our CEO, Mark Benioff, he uses that, right? That's how he, he literally has Einstein all the time sitting at his desk and he can see how his, and it's pretty accurate. It's like, I think 90%, 98% accurate, like two weeks into the quarter. It's like, it's incredible. Um, so yeah, so, but, but what we're doing with that, uh, you know, that, that feature is we're first building it uh, and then we're then adding on more configuration options over time and more diag diagnostic capabilities. So all of these, like Prediction Builder, over time will get more and more, more capabilities to, to actually go and uh, play with the model and change it. But the first, first thing to do is, is we want to get it out in your hands so you can start using it. Uh, and then the more advanced users, once you start using it, and then you're like, well, now I need to do a few more things. And then, and then we'll actually, to be honest, we're listening to customers. Like right now, the pilots are driving... Um, Customers are using it and telling us the things they need, and that's what's. Uh, but you'll def we'll definitely see that uh, coming. But the thing, you know, you can see here that the real game changer um, is that anyone, right? I mean, just imagine you have this today in your business, right? You could just turn it on and say, you know what? Will is this? I don't know. Can we? You know, because a lot of times what happens is, you know, you have an idea like you, like churn is an easy one, but it could be anything else in your business, right? You don't know if that value is predictable or not. Right? But then if you, to actually get a data scientist to take all the data in and do all of that, that could take two months and it could cost like half a million euros. Right? With this thing, you can just run it. If it's not predictable, then forget about it. Right? If it's predictable, then obviously it's a game changer. You can start using it in your business. Yeah. Actually, I was wondering, how, how do you know it's predictable or how do you know you have enough data for your predictions? Because yeah, so that's what, that's what, the, that's what the, uh, the number tells you. The, um, the, uh, the, the prediction accuracy, this one here. Okay. So more than nine to eight times out of 10, Einstein will likely make a correct prediction, right? So it'll, it'll also give you advice. This is a good rate and ready to be turned on for users. Obviously, if it's like, it depends what it is as well, you know? Yeah, so exactly, it, it, that's the first thing. If it's not predictable, uh, but you do need data. You do need data, starting at 5,000 records, yeah. Yeah. But uh, this, this is easy if you have structured data, but what if you have unstructured data, like just PDFs or documents? Um, you know, we're getting, we're, on that front, we're also doing a lot of work, right? Um, so actually, I don't know if you read, I, I don't know if you heard about it. So last week is the first time that an AI uh, can read uh, as well as a human being. So reached in, in, in NLP, we've reached human level 
Um, I don't know if you read about that, right? So what happened is so Google, uh, not Google, uh, Stanford University, they have a data set uh, of, I don't know, a few hundred thousand Wikipedia pages and a hundred thousand questions, right? Questions on those Wikipedia pages. Uh, and uh, that data set is, being, is, you know, there's actually a page where they got a ranking of all the different AI systems and it was last week where Microsoft research hit human level. Um, so that means, you know, that's pretty incredible, right? I mean, these are like pretty broad questions, not like your know, very specific questions. It's like very, you know, broad human, uh, like generic questions and it was able to read the Wikipedia pages and answer those questions in like a human would, at the human level, which is amazing and we've got a research group uh, that are using the same technology and so we're using that on for example uh, um, Einstein for communities right so today for example in winter if you're in a community and um, you go and ask a question you know like a forum type community you have right you go and ask a question in the community you can have uh, Einstein for uh, community cloud actually um, recommend uh, search all the other um, Answered, answered questions and actually find the right one. So it actually is reading, you know, reading the text using NLP. Um, and so we're going to have, so that is also going to, we're, we're going to be, um, uh, in, in, for example, in summer, we're going, to, we're going to use that same capability to read knowledge articles, use the same capability to read cases, right? Um, and so what will happen there is a, sa a service agent, when they go into service cloud, right, they will actually see, um, you know, case will come in, Einstein will read the email, and then we'll actually, uh, using um, uh, you know, uh, deep learning, uh, we'll actually give you, uh, you know, the recommended knowledge articles. But the other thing it'll do is, actually I'll show you a screenshot of it. It'll take out within a knowledge article, let's say you have a really big knowledge article, it'll actually go and pull out the sentences that actually answer the question. Right? You see, like somebody might say, like to your, you, you know, like Albert Hein, right? They might say, okay, w when is the Albert Hein on Prince and Crack open? But Albert Hein probably have an FAQ where they've got all, the, all, all of the different stores, right? You know, knowledge article, all the different stores, and what Einstein will do is they'll go and find. That's actually a really simple example. That's easy. It's harder when you actually get a big piece of text, uh, and you have to literally find the three, two or three sentences that actually answer the question. And that's kind of what we're working on. So that comes out in summer, probably in pilot. Yeah, so that's what we're doing on that front. And this is also, we'll also do that. We'll also take that. But for Prediction Builder, I think, to be honest, it'll be a little bit longer before we are actually using Prediction Builder uh, to look at, you know, blobs, you know, like large pieces of rich text. Um, cool. I just want to throw out, it's kind of quarter to, to, to... Oh, yeah, to okay. Um, I think a formal wrap-up at night. And I've got the benefit of those at one Yeah, point. of course, of course. That time. I mean, absolutely fascinating. I don't know whether anyone's got questions they want to throw out, more questions they want to throw out now, whether you want to. Well, let's do that, actually. Yeah, maybe do questions, yeah. Because bo bots, actually, if you go and type in, you, there's a you can probably see the demo online as well on, uh, on chatbot. <laughs> Any other questions on anything? Oh, yeah, let me just, before, actually, before <laughs> I had. <laughs> no, I wanted, on Lightning, I wanted to. So one thing is, you can just go type into Google, type in Lightning Roadmap in Google, and you come to this page where we share the, the roadmap, right, publicly. And you can see what's coming in winter. And, and we're actually going to be updating it in the next couple of weeks to show you what's coming in summer release, right, what's coming out in June. So this, if you want to know about, is my feature available this date, whatever, this is just a great resource, right, across all the, all the clouds, it's there. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you was um, this link here might want to write this down. Um, it's basically sfdc.co slash lightning journey. We're not making that easy. Um, but you can, you can send that out, yeah. Capital L, capital J. And uh, our, yeah, our CSG, or customer, uh, customer success group, created this. So it goes to basically, when I click on that, it'll, when, you, when you go to that link, it then goes to this. But there's just a ton of stuff on moving to lightning here. Like, um, you know, uh, there are videos here to understand what, what you can do with Lightning. Um, it tells you, you know, to evaluate, to align. Um, so let's go to align, for example, uh, the different steps. So it'll give you a you know, project plan, right? Uh, you want to pitch it to the executives. Um, it, it's, we've got an executive, a presentation you know, that you can use to pitch it to your executives. Um, you want to demo Lightning features, it give you that. Um, so the ton of stuff here, there's also a link to um, 
I think in Valley, where is the other one? Uh, there's also a link to all these trails, like I think here you'll see a trail. So link to trails as well. Um, you know, you, uh, so you can, you can, you can uh, yeah, so this is basically start the trail, right? So for each stage, right? So this is just a great resource uh, with a lot of stuff. Which we have, and all this is, this material has come from all the lightning migrations our services team have done, right? Uh, and they've, they've popped that all here. So this is just another resource that could be really useful. And there's a ton of stuff on the lightning, oh, sorry, the Trailblazer community, just a ton of stuff. There's a great group as well, you should join the group, which is mentioned in here. All right, that was my last thing.